My name is Rita D'Alessio and I am the Conservation Chairperson for the Ventana Chapter of the Sierra Club. The whole state is in a crisis. The Governor, Jerry Brown, in January announced a water crisis, a state of emergency for our water supply and mandatory rationing is in effect. California is in a mess along with the rest of the West. We are short of water and if the environmental scientists are correct, it's not going to get better, it's going to get worse. California has been on the cutting edge of technology for computers, electronic devices, and many other innovations, but there hasn't been that much application of technology to public works. California has built about 1,500 dams, and they are no longer probably a viable solution. So we do need to look at new technology and innovation for augmenting our water supply. So what do we do? Well, the first thing is we're going to have to conserve more. How we do that is an open book. The residents of the state, and especially in the urban areas, suburban areas, have made a lot of progress in cutting back on water use. Unfortunately, generally, when we go to conservation in this country, it's a formula for making the poor people pay more. Uh, that's been true in water too, in that we put rationing in as a percentage of what people used before, which means that if you wasted more before, you're rewarded for having done that. Whether we'd have the guts to go to a real system of you only get so much each person, I don't know. I haven't seen that kind of political will yet, but we need it. However, since California uses about 80% of its fresh water supplies for agriculture, there definitely needs to be some advances in technology and innovation to help out the agricultural community to use less water and produce the fine crops that sell all over the world. We probably need to, to use this money that was voted by the voters to spend on research and development and technology and innovation and offer it to the farming community. In terms of the technology, um, there's lots of things we can do, but how much they will help is another question. Just this week, the uh, water agencies here in Mon Monterey County unveiled a new plan, a groundwater replenishment plan, which would take wastewater water from agricultural runoff and recycle it, uh, treat it, and release it back into the aquifers as new water. And that uh, plant would, would bring in about 3,500 acre feet of new water. So that program uh, could really make a difference. That's a lot of water, so that would be good news. Recycling water is an obvious first step. We've got to get much, much better at that. Uh, we, compared to the rest of the world, use an unbelievable amount of water, most of which we just flush away. Um, and we can do far better than that. And we're going to have to do that. The idea that technology is going to get us out of this problem, though, I think needs to be examined because in my experience, I'm an old man, technology doesn't solve problems, it just moves them further down the road. So you, you, you need transportation so you get the kind of transportation that fouls the air and, and you go through that system again and again and I don't have any confidence that that wouldn't be the situation with water. Essentially, we've got to live with what we have. The problem with that is that we get our water from rain and snow, and if it doesn't rain and it doesn't snow, there's no replenishment. 
and that's what we're, we're appearing to go into a time when that's going to be the situation. And I think that that is going to be the key that people are going to have to learn to accept. It's not pleasant to think about it, but it's not that bad either because we do waste so much that we have so much that we can save. And if worse comes to worse and this turns out to be a desert in the long run, well, we'll do what people have always done when the desert crept into their land. We'll move. <laughs>